Hi there, Flat Cap Chef here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a uh, lamb hot pot. Uh, it's a favourite in my native county in the UK, Lancashire. It's my take on it, and uh, let's see what we've got. So, I've got my lamb. I put about 150 grams per person. Now, I'm using uh, lamb steaks here, but you can use um, really cheap cuts like lamb neck. Uh, because you're going to cook this for a good two and a half hours so it will be low slow cooking so you can use the cheaper cuts of meat um, I trim off the fat when I've got something like this so I've got a piece down the outside here so just turn it over get my knife point in and then just ease away that there we go trim it up nicely there we are and that's it done. And we've got now a lovely lean piece. Now I'm going to cut this into around about centimetre-ish cubes. You don't want it too small, because if you do it too small, then what will happen is uh, the meat itself uh, will break up to such small pieces that it won't work for you. So I'll finish doing this, then I'll be back. Okay, so that's now chopped up and I've got the, uh, I'm doing the four here, so 600 grams, and I put some flour in here and some salt and pepper. Uh, and adding the flour, what that does, mix it up with your fingers and put that in there. That means it helps it to thicken uh, as it's cooking. Uh, so we'll just mix that all together. A quick run to the tap. Uh, I've then got, uh, I've got a tin of tomatoes. I've got some thyme. Fresh time you can use dry, doesn't matter. And I've got um, four carrots for me. I mean, it's a bit of a carrot per person. Um, good thing about this is that actually with these carrots, and I've, I've already prepared some of them, I'll just chop them like this, is you don't even need to uh, wash them. Just top and tail them. Sorry, peel them. You can wash them. We don't need to uh, do anything more than that. And then I cut them on the angle, only because I don't really like rounds. There we go. And I, the, this, this time's going to go in uh, as it is. So let's go over to the pan where I've pre-prepared by roughly chopping and um, then softening in some oil, one onion. And let's go over and have a look. So over we come. And my pan's here. Uh, so it's going to turn that up a bit now. Get the heat going again. So I've got in here my onions that I've softened down. going to do now is I'm going to move my onions to one side and I'm going to drop in my lamb and my flour and I'm just going to brown off this lamb and I'll cut it into cubes. It won't take very long. I'll do it all into one pan. There we go. So this is really just about sealing in the uh, juices from the meat and all the stuff with the flour helps to thicken as I've said. Then we're going to pop the carrots in and we're going to make up some, uh, in my case, vegetable stock. You can use lamb stock, you could use chicken stock if you wanted to. I'm just going to use uh, the two uh, stock pots. I'm using vegetable ones in my case. Pretty quickly you'll see it's just starting to brown. Now, and then we're going to turn it down to a simmer for about two hours um, and once we've done that we're then in the last 45 minutes of cooking about 45 minutes I'm going to pop this into the oven so make sure you use an oven proof uh, dish you use a casserole if you use a big pan uh, as long as it's oven proof because then we're going to slice some potatoes and we're going to layer them on the top with some thyme and some butter so we get a lovely potato crust. So that's what we'll be doing uh, at the end to finish it off. So I've got a couple of potatoes that I've peeled and I'm ready to slice. It's browning nicely. It takes two or three minutes just to brown. So let me brown this off and then we'll be back. Okay, so they're now brown. Just a tip on this when you're doing this. Um, don't put too much oil in, otherwise you'll end up with lots of oil floating around in your uh, lovely finished food. 
So there's little spoilers you can manage. As long as you keep it moving, it won't stick. So it does sizzle a lot, as you can hear. Right, so now I'm going to add my tin of chopped tomatoes. If you do fresh tomatoes, if you've got them. There we go. And I'm just going to rinse out this tin with about three quarters of a tin of water. Now we don't want to waste it and uh, put all the lovely juices that stick to the inside. There we go. That's quite, so you can hear what I'm saying again. So we've already seasoned the flour, so that's good. Um, there's a, bit, a little bit of salt in here, but not too much because we've seasoned on that flour. So we round what so. Half a teaspoon of flour, of uh, salt, sorry. Uh, then I'm going to add in my chopped carrots. There we go. Not the end bits. I'm then going to add in my sprigs of thyme. And then two vegetable stock pots. There we go. You can hear that bubbling probably. So just mix those through. And then I'm going to turn this down to a gentle simmer so the bubbles are just breaking the surface. And I'm going to leave it on a low heat for two hours. Okay? That will just have a beautiful softening of the meat and vegetables in that time period. Um, and then we will we'll be back. Okay, so it's now cooked. Uh, about half an hour to go, sorry, 45 minutes to go, I took it uh, off the stove and popped it into my 200 degree oven. Before I did that, I topped it with slices of potato, little uh, knobs of butter on the top, some pepper. And you end up with, let's get it like this, you end up with the fantastic looking uh, crust on the top here with the lovely potatoes. So if you want to see more of this, then uh, just subscribe. It's free. Uh, and if you want to go to the website, it's www.flatcapchef.com. And we'll be back soon with something else.